This video is going to cover how to register and set up your NPC studio. Check it out! What's up everybody? My name is Matthew Stratton with MatthewCreating.com, home of the NPC Studios Essentials course. If you're new to the NPC Studio and you want to get a deep dive into the NPC software, consider checking out that course. I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thing to do after you open the box is to go ahead and go to akaipro.com slash register. Once you go to that address, you're going to see the login screen. So what you got to do here is, of course, create a new account if you do not have one or log into your existing account. If you already have an existing account, just log into that one. But if you do not, click right here where it says create an account. OK, and then you just fill in the information and then create your account. And once you do that, go ahead and sign in. I'm signing into my personal account now. After you go ahead and sign in, you're going to see your currently registered devices. If you do not have anything registered, that's fine. Either way, you need to click right here where it says register new product. I'm going to click that. Now we're going to get this option to go ahead and put the serial number of our hardware into here. The serial number is going to be located on the bottom of your NPC. It's going to start with the number 21 as indicated on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my serial number. Now I'm going to go click here check serial. Now you can see it does say it found the following product in PC studio. So I'm going to register the date of purchase and the purchase location. So I'm going to click register your product. Now I can see it does say product successfully register. If I had more products to register, I would go ahead and click register new product, but I do not. So I'm going to click see details, downloads and offers. Now you're going to see a bunch of offers here that you do not need to necessarily purchase, but if you're interested, you could go ahead and check those out. But I'm more interested in actually getting this set up so we can use it right now. Right here is the PC installer. I want to click that one. It's going to start downloading that. It's going to take a few seconds to download. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open this installer. So for the PC, the download installer icon is going to look a little bit like this. Go ahead and open that up. So when you first open the installer, it's going to look like this in PC Studio. Go ahead and click Let's Go. And then it's going to ask you to connect your NPC Studio. So go ahead and connect that. And once you connect that, it's going to automatically select the things that you, you know, should install. And if it doesn't, go ahead and select the ones that you need to install. Now, I already have some stuff installed on here from before. But the first time I opened the NPC Studio installer up, I didn't get this guide. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you this guide before we moved ahead. So basically just select everything. These are the actual expansions right here. So go ahead and select those and then click finish. Once you click finish, it's going to ask you to go ahead and create an iLock account. But if you already have one, just go ahead and click I already have one. But if you don't, you're going to need to go ahead and create an iLock account. So just go ahead and create an iLock account. It's very simple. And you need this to actually activate the NPC software. And if you do not have the setup wizard, I want to show you how to go ahead and get that now. So all you need to do is go over to this cog icon, click that. At the bottom, it's going to say restart the setup wizard. And as I said, when I first installed everything on a computer, I didn't have this. And then when I reinstalled it on a different computer, I got the setup wizard. So that's how I knew the setup wizard existed. So this may or may not show up. It's not a big deal even if you run through the setup wizard because you could do everything from this screen. And I'm going to show you that right now. All right. Welcome to the NPC studio. So this is pretty much all you're going to need. Once you go ahead and download this, you just need to start installing things from here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got our NPC2 software right there. So we can go ahead and download these things. So I want to go ahead and just push download on these. Okay, on all of them. While I'm waiting for the software to download, I do want to say that if you look right here, this is the driver for the MPC Studio. So you're going to need the actual MPC software for this to work. The driver gets installed on your computer and the firmware gets installed on your actual hardware. So once the MPC software is done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and install it. So you should go ahead and install your software. Okay. And then, of course, once you install your software, you're going to have to get the activation code. Now, the activation code is going to be in the login where we just were. OK, so I'm going to let the installer run first. So you're going to need to pick the plugins you want because this can be a plugin inside of a different digital audio workstation as well. 
but I only use the VSTs. I do not need the AAX plugins. And then if you want the expansion builder to make your own expansions, you could have that as well. You would pick the path where you want to actually install your VST, and then you can choose to create a desktop shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and install the actual NPC software. Once the setup of your software is complete, you can go ahead and click finish. Now we can go ahead and get our activation code. You could go right to your login and get it. I'm going to click right here and push get activation co. And then, like I say, it's just going to open your Akai Pro account. All right. Since I already logged in, I'm already there. You might need to re-log in, but I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and again, go to see details. Once there, you can see MPC2 Studio Installer get serial. So if you go ahead and press that, it's going to give you a number that's going to be for your account. So you can go ahead and copy and paste this serial number into your computer and activate your software. So now what we can do is install the actual driver for the MPC Studio 2. So I'm going to press install. It's going to install that. Once it's done, press finish. Now, before we're actually going to be able to update the firmware, we need to actually plug in our device. So there's an included USB cable. There's a USB port on the back of your MPC studio. So go ahead and take that USB cable, plug it right into there. Then what you got to do, take the other end of your USB cable, plug that into your computer. All right. I actually have this little dongle here, so I'm going to plug it right into that. All right, you can see when I plugged it in, the actual device started to light up. Now I can see it does say Akai Professional on here, so I'm going to go ahead and push install on this firmware update. Install, so I'm gonna push finish. So after you install the firmware updater, let's go ahead and update our hardware. So I'm going to actually open up the firmware updater. It's gonna search for it right here, and I can see it is installed right there. So I'm gonna open it. Now it says the device current firmware is 1.40, update to firmware version 1.41. So there is an update, so I am going to click update firmware. And again, make sure you do have your device connected before you do this and do not disconnect it. So I hit update firmware and I can see that the firmware is actually updating. All right, and now my hardware is restarting. So once that's done updating, we can go ahead and press exit. So we're good to go in that regard. So now the actual software is set up and we should be able to use our MPC Studio with the software. We just might need to actually activate the software. But before we activate the software, we can go ahead and start downloading these MPC sound packs. There's a lot of included sound packs with the MPC Studio. I'm just going to start downloading them all. So I'm going to press download on all of these. So for each of these sound packs, I'm going to accept the agreement, press next and press install. So it's going to be the same process for each one of these sound packs. You simply click install, accept the agreement, press next, and then it's going to install it for you. When it's done, go ahead and press finish. Now, once that is installed, you can see it says installed right there. And we can go ahead and go through and install each one of these. So I successfully installed all of the sound packs. If you don't want the sound packs, you don't necessarily have to install all of them. I'm just showing you this because you can go ahead and install them, have them on there. This way, whenever you open up the software, they're already there for you. You're going to have a bunch of sounds to start off with. So at this point, let's go ahead and activate the MPC software. So I already connected my MPC studio to my computer, but if you haven't already, you can go ahead and connect a USB cable to your USB studio and to your computer. So let's go ahead and press open. The first time that you open the MPC2 software, you're going to need to activate it. So right here it says activate, go ahead and press activate. Once you press activate, you're gonna to need to enter your activation code. And remember early in the process, we got our activation code. And just to refresh, log into your account. Once you log into your account, Go ahead and click see details on your MPC studio. Once you get to there, go ahead and right here is going to say get activation code. When you go ahead and click that, it's going to give you a serial number. 
All right, so once your serial number is revealed, go ahead and type it into this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Once you type it in, you should get all green check marks. And when you get these check marks, go ahead and click next. So now you're gonna to need to go ahead and register an iLock account if you have not already. So if you click right here, go ahead and create a new account. It's gonna open up the window for iLock and you can go ahead and register an iLock account. That's what that's gonna look like right there. And after you create an iLock account, you should get a user ID and a password. I already have a user ID and password with an iLock account, so I'm just going to simply log in. All right, select a location. So I'm going to select this particular computer, click next, successfully activated, click continue. Now, once that's activated, the NPC software is going to open up and you're going to get the full version of the NPC software. So once you activate your NPC software, you're going to need to download some synth content. Now, you might see a window when you first start it up and it's going to say download the synth content. If you don't, you can go ahead and go to your menu and then go to help and then get synth content. After you download the content, go ahead and find this in your download folder. And if you're on Windows, go ahead and right click and then extract all and it's gonna create a new folder for you. Go into that folder. So once you see that folder, you can go ahead and go into that folder, and then you're gonna to need to go into this other folder. Once you get into that folder, right here is the installer for Windows, so go ahead and install it from here, and then you got your installer for Mac as well if you need that. Once it's done installing, go ahead and press finish, and then go back and restart your NPC software. And once the software restarts, go ahead and go to a plugin program. Once you select a plugin program, you're going to be able to select from the four new synthesizers that come with the MPC 2.10 version software, and you're going to be good to go in that regard. Now, since the MPC Studio controller is already plugged in, you're going to see right here that this screen is responding to the software. So let's go ahead and load up some of those sounds that we saw earlier. You can actually push browse on your MPC Studio. It's going to give you the browser. So here's your file browser. If you push browse again, you're gonna get your media browser and you should see all of those sound packs. If for some reason you don't see the sound packs that you did install, if you go to your menu, if you go to tools and then go to expansion manager, make sure you see these here. So if these boxes don't have check marks in them, you're not gonna see your expansions and you can see all of mine do. So I'm good to go in that regard. So I'm just gonna close that. At this point, your software is completely registered and activated on your computer. You're good to go. Remember, if you're looking for a way to jumpstart your progress with the NPC Studio, check out the NPC Studio Essentials course. The link is going to be in the description below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like below. And I hope you continue to make music.